Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. So this presentation is about basic simultaneous equations. Now, to be honest with you, this is actually one of the reasons why people just hate maths because they find it extremely scary. They fail to comprehend that how can just one value of x and one value of y solve two equations at the same time. So let me just make things a lot easier for you. So hopefully you start to like maths again. So here we have two equations, 3x plus 2y equals to 4 and 4x plus 5y equals to 17. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out the value of x and y using these two equations. And if we put those values inside this equation, the first one, we should get the answer for. And if I plug those values in, in my second equation, x and y, I should also get 17. So those two values, x, one value of x and one value of y, would be pleasing two equations at the same time. So let's just solve it. So my equation, let's just label my first equation as equation 1 to make things a little easier for us to understand. And label our second equation as equation number 2. Okay, now what we are going to do is in order for us to find the values, okay, I'm going to solve one value at a time. So either find my x first or y first, okay. Let's just say I want to find my x first. If I want to find my x first, I need to make sure that my y cancels out. I want my y to be zero, right? So what I'm going to do is multiply them with one another to make them the same value so they can take away and finish off. But I can't just multiply the y with one another. I would need to multiply the whole equation with that value. For example, this 2y, I can multiply with 5 and the 5y with 2. So both of them will become 10y's and I can cross them up. So I will need to multiply this whole equation by 5, not just 2y. So this whole equation multiplied by 5. And likewise, for equation number 2, I'm dealing with y's, I need to multiply with 2. Again, the whole equation multiplies with 2. Okay, so let's just say I will write my first equation. That's what we're doing. So we're multiplying 3x by 5. So that becomes 15x. Then 2y by 5. So that's plus 10y. And then equals to, equals to. And then 4 by 5. That equals to 20. And now my second equation, so 4x multiplied by 2, that becomes my 8x. Then 5y multiplied by 2 plus 10y, then equals to 17 multiplied by 2, that's 34. Now I have my, you know, remake of two equations in which I have my y's exactly the same. And the reason why we actually do this is because I want to take them away. You see, I'm going to take my y's away. So after what we do over here, what we're going to do is we're going to take equation 1, take away equation 2. So everything in equation 1, take away with equation 2. So this x minus this x. This y is minus this. 20 minus this. Or we can do it the other way. We can also do equation 2, take away equation 1. Okay? So we can do either way. It doesn't really matter. What you can't do it choose one from the first equation and then one from the second. You can't do this. It's either one whole take away the two whole equation or two whole equation take away one whole. So let's just, to make things easier, let's just put a minus sign in the middle of each so we know that we are taking away each of them. Okay. So let's say I am doing, you know, the top equation take away the second equation. So one minus two. Okay. So let's just do it now. 15x minus 8x. That gives me 7x. 10y minus 10y. That just cancels out because that's zero, right? And that's what we want to deal with one equation at a time. Equals to 20 minus 34. That's minus 14. So we are told that 7x equals to minus 14. Now we want to find the value of x. So x equals to this 7 is multiplied with x over here. So when 7 goes to the other side now to make x the subject, is going to divide, right? So I'm going to do 14, minus 14, sorry, divided by, 
see, seven. And my x becomes minus 14 divided by seven, that's minus two. Literally straightforward, I've just got my x value. And likewise, now I wanna find my y value. So what am I going to do? This x value, I'm going to plug in to my main equation. Remember that this is the main equations. These are not the main equations. I'm going to plug in my values in one of these equations. So let's say I want to choose equation number one. So I can write equation number one over here as 3x plus 2y equals to 4. Okay, and now one by one, I'm going to plug in my x. So I'm just, let's just rewrite this equation to 3. Instead of x, I've got my x value as minus 2. I'm going to plug that in plus 2y equals to 4. So remaining equation stays exactly the same. Now I'm going to expand my brackets. 3 times by minus 2, minus 6. Plus 2y stays the same, equals to 4. Now I'm going to make my y the subject, so I'm going to take everything to the other side, right? So minus 6 goes to the other side. So minus 6 goes to the other side, that becomes plus 6. So 2y equals to 4 plus 6, which means that's 10. And to make our y the subject, y equals to multiplied here, goes to the other side, it divides. 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So I've got my x value as minus 2 and my y value as 5. Literally, that's straightforward. You know, just follow the steps and you can easily get it. You see? So now let's just, you know, try a second equation over here in which i will be dealing with some negatives now if you think that you know you're ready and you offer a challenge then take a minute and pause the video and try solving this equation for yourself and make sure don't forget to you know see the signs so let's just try solve this now same thing as the the one before so what we are going to do over here is look at my equation number one label the first one as equation one okay and label my second one as equation two. So exactly the same thing. I wanna make one of my, you know, either x is the same or either the y is the same. So take, let's just make our x is the same. So three x, I wanna multiply this by four. So the whole equation multiplies by four. Second equation, I wanna multiply with three. Whole equation multiplies by three, right? So let's just do equation number one. Equation one says, I want more than three multiplied by four. That's 12 x plus 5y multiply with 4, that's plus 20y, equals to 19 multiplied by 4, and that's 76. Do my second equation. Second equation says 4x multiplied by 3, that's 12x, minus 2y multiplied by 3, remember to take the minus, minus 2y multiplied by 3, minus 6y, equals to minus 18 multiplied by 3, that's minus 54. Okay, exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to take away. So 12x, so I'll put the minus sign in the middle of these. And let's just do the top equation 1, take away equation 2. 12x so take away 12x, so that gives me nothing, 0. 20y minus minus 6y. Make sure you take this minus in front of you, don't get that confused. So that would be, let me just do it in another color. So 20 minus minus six okay and two minuses we know that makes a plus so that's 26 okay so that will be 26 y positive equals to same thing in my second one now so my 276 minus minus 54 so 76 minus minus 54 okay two minuses makes a positive and that gives me 130 so that's 130. So why? I want to make that subject. 26 go to the other side. 130 divided by 26. And that gives me 5. Now let's plug that into my equations to find x. So first equation, 3x plus 5y equals to 19. Okay. I'm going to plug in my y value. So 3x plus 5. Instead of y, I plug my value in at positive 5 equals to 19. Okay, 
So that will become 3x so plus 25 equals to 19. And we try, oops, let me just get rid of that so you don't get confused between these equals to sign. Okay. All right, so now 25 goes to the other side. 3x equals to 19 minus 25. That gives me minus 6. To make x the subject, x equals to minus 6. 3 is multiplied here. 3 goes there and divides. Divide by 3. And we get x as minus 2. See? So there we are. x equals to minus 2. And then we have y that equals to 5. So, nice and easy. Hope you understand this. So there we are. This equation. A uh, simpler one over here. Thank you.